Anesthesia for a would-be mother is completely different from any other procedure in a unique and remarkable way because it entails well-being of two lives, the mother and the unborn child. Hello, I am Dr. Anand Sharma from Neotia Bhagirathi Hospital, Rowden Street, consultant anesthesiologist and practicing painless normal delivery and obstetric anesthesia for more than 15 years. Anesthesia for a would-be mother is completely different from any other procedure in a unique and remarkable way because it entails well-being of two lives, the mother and the unborn child. There are multiple reasons for which general anesthesia is not chosen for a C-section but I will stress upon only one reason that we all can very well connect to and that is the well-being of the baby. There are more than 15 drugs that we use for a general anesthesia and all, most of the drugs cause sedation and depression of reflexes and once given to the mother they also go to the baby and that makes the baby once delivered a little depressed not sucking well and not crying well and needs and will definitely need special care. So spinal anesthesia from the time that it has been invented, it has become the gold standard. So now when now we know that why it is the gold standard, now comes the main three concerns that revolves around this injection. Pain on injection. I would say pain on injection is just like an insect bite because the needle that we use is actually not able to be seen by naked eyes. Number 27, which is the thinnest part possible needle, thinner than the needle that these lab people come and take blood from. Number two, that you will be awake in the operation theater. Yes, you will be awake, but you will be, you will be talking to your anesthetist, you will be talking to your husband, and you will be cordoned off from the site of operation by a curtain. So you won't be able to see anything at all. So the two concerns are gone. The most important concern is a back pain that we all are very worried about. Injection ke baad sari zindagi ek peet mein darad rahe jata hai. So I would like to stress upon this injection is being given from age of six years to up to say 70 years of elderly male and female alike uh, for any operation that is done below the waist. So they do not complain of any back pain otherwise this injection would have gone out of repute. The mothers complain and the mothers complain because they have this back pain because of carrying this weight of the baby for nine months. They need to re-strengthen the back muscles by doing some exercises and that will help. But this injection does not cause per se any back pain long term. Thank you.